right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. He will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Meta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when the window opens to close the show, Close. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up and coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. Hands up back. Guillotine jump. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. It's tight. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying on those submissions. 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Making all these shots count. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Big combination here. Ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Nermago Metal. Oh, nice guillotine there. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? So, putting his pass attempt, denied. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of power. What a strike from off of his back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Topuria. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Back and forth we go. He's got that single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. That was a slick transition. In the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Nermago Medov ground and pound from half guard now. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. <laughs> Nermago Medov's got his back again. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. He passed the half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Lands with the grounded pound. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you control the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world Ready in front fight. of you? Ready. All right, round two. Nice shot there by the champ. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. All right, so we didn't see any takedown attempts from the BJJ player in round one. And as yet, he still hasn't attempted. All right, looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is. And with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming. 
but he's got it. He does a great job of disguising his technique. He is a fantastic judo player, and he did a great job. Huge connection playing there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, countering. It looks like with a bottom flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get this guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Great submission defense on this play tonight. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gotta be careful there. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean... It is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Got it very tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. This is where he wants to be. Relentless pressure from the top by Nermago Meta. Nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it has to, right? Because you gotta be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worse. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. He's gotta be careful here. Good work, guys. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. Ninety seconds to go. <laughs> Topuria's in half guard. Working out of the half guard here. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta, and look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to swell. Big ground and pound. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek.
You I'm just saying, he's got a big Ready. mouth. <laughs> Here we go, third round of this championship fight. a nice straight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nermanko Medov, shot is blocked. Well, the book on this fighter coming in, outstanding takedowns, vicious ground and pound. To what extent are you surprised that he hasn't even shot a force in the takedown? To the point that I'm questioning his fight IQ and his ego. Because if you fight with your ego, you usually find yourself losing. Right now, he is putting himself in immense danger by not trying to get takedown. So, putting his eye is closing up. the takedown without issue. The guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, he caught out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, it looks like that Dorse is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Topuria's in half guard now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Nurmago Medov getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just continues to get targeted by well, his opponent. Well, he's a bloody mess, eh? He's been beat up. The guy has been targeting the eye, and now the cut is at a stage that I don't know if he's going to be able to be in there much longer. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground of hurt. Topuri is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, close guard now. Just over two minutes now to go. And very effective with the ground and pound. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Checks the leg kick. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Ilya Topuria. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. We're going to have a lot of cleanup to do before our next battle. Yes, they're going to have a lot of cleanup. Right, you go into a plenty octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know? Yeah. That's the beauty in being at the end of the night. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. <laughs> Nermanko Medov's in half guard. Are working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. He passes the half guard. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Fifteen seconds. Topuria's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. He's working 
working on the arm bar. What a tight arm bar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready? You ready? Go All right, on. here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's powerful. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh! He's hurt bad. Did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Just over three minutes to go. Scramble and go! Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meadow. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Nermago Menov's going for an arm here. Arms are deep. Wow, oh, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. There it is. Now he's going to pop. He's been trying to get back to his feet. Look at him attack that long triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. It. That's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punch, so look for a submission attempt. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, 
Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get it to more. Notice his step over the head to try to get it to more. Oh, the submission defense holds up and gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Topuri is in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Topuri is back in side control here. Oh, good defense, yes. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. We expected a bloody fight. We knew this was going to happen. We expected that roar. Refocus. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Another round and pound strike lands. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Nermago Medov, ground and pound from half guard. Oh, right into Mount. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across, and he gets the cross. That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Nice strike from bottom position. Topuri is looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Topuri is in half guard. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. He let him step over to the crucifix. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And now he's inside control. Great defense by this fighter. Topuri is back to the side control now. Attempting a choke now. He's got it in. Oh, he's out. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Topuria's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. That was nice. Topuria's back in full mount. 
Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Less than a minute to go to decide this one. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, feet on the hips here. Keep the pressure going. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago Medoff. So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Good work from the top here by Nermont Gometa. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nermont Gometa back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmago Meta. All right, so Habib Nurmago Meta, your winner by decision, competitive fight at times, but late, of course, your former teammate pulled away and again left no stone unturned in preparation and gets the desired result. He's one of those guys that prepares himself so thoroughly that it does not matter where the fight takes place. The guy is a tremendous grappler. His striking has developed.